Hey everybody, Bam Collectibles here to talk about the top five most emotional scenes in Naruto for me personally. So if you came to watch a grown man cry, well you came to the, to the right place. <laughs> Before we jump on in, I want to say these are my opinions and my opinions alone. Everybody who watches the show has a different upbringing and background. They might be in a different season of life. So what might be precious and special to them uh, might not be to me or vice versa. So if we get our rankings off, you know, it is what it is. And I'd love to hear in the comments below, you know, what your ranking would be from some of the ones that I listed in this video. Now, of course, before we jump into the top five, I want to, you know, mention some runner ups that I think are some very special moments in the show that didn't make it into my top five. The first mention is going to be Zabuza and Haku. So this is one of the most special moments that we experienced in the show where, you know, Naruto's talk no jutsu did, you know, pierce somebody and we got to see, you know, Zabuza go from being the heartless individual that we saw him as as somebody who did have a heart and did care about Haku. And so that was kind of one of the most special moments in the show where we connected on an emotional level. Another's going to be Rock Lee when he was trying to do push-ups after his injury. So that was a huge moment, right, where we saw somebody who had worked so hard, tried to accomplish something, and ended up falling short in the end. And to watch him struggle the way that he did was just heartbreaking as a character because you wanted to see him accomplish his dreams and goals. But man, did he just get messed up and derailed from that. Then let's talk about Hashirama's suicide attempt, right? So him and Madara duked it out for days. In the end, he overcame him. And as Madara's lying on the ground, expected to, to be killed, you know, Hashirama's trying to talk some sense into him and say, what can we do to make this right? And Madara says, either kill your brother or kill yourself. And so at that moment, we saw Hashirama's resolve to truly see the world know peace. And he was about to take his own life. And in that moment, there was just so much emotion involved with that show and the old times and trying to transition into a new period in the world of Naruto. And then, of course, we have to mention Sasuke and Itachi, uh, I guess, on his second death when he's saying goodbye to him, explaining everything that happened, why it happened, why it went down. That was just such an emotional scene, seeing him go head to head with his brother and saying his final goodbye. Now, the last one I'll mention before we jump into the top five, probably me personally, because I'm a married guy, uh, was when Naruto asked Iruka to be his father in his wedding. Now, I didn't know where they were going with this scene or what the point was, right? It started off with Iruka kind of fumbling around trying to cook. Naruto came over and they, he tried to convince him to go get some ramen, but then he dragged him out to apologize to Hinata to show, you know, because he wasn't acting manly enough or wasn't spending enough time with her. And then all of a sudden we got this magical full circle moment where we got to experience, you know, who he was at the beginning of the show and uh, where he is now and how precious and dear Aruka has been to him through these years. Without delay, let's jump into the top five and coming in at number five is going to be Obito's Rage. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? We're talking about emotional moments. So you're thinking of crying or sadness, but Obito in the moment when he truly lost himself was such a pivotal point in the show where you got to understand, you know, someone that we would deem as an antagonist in the show and what went behind all the horrors that led him up to that moment. That is what I would consider one of the darkest moments in the series. Firsthand, it's one of the moments where I kind of felt like kind of cringy just watching it, hearing some of the noises that they made, and honestly getting to see the, the hell that Obito went through, leading him up to becoming what it became, I guess, under Madara's tutelage. But I, I just, I think that that's one of the moments I'll never forget in the series because it is one of the darkest moments. Number four on my list is gonna be when Naruto returns to the village after defeating Pain. I tell you, having grown up with the show and watching all the struggles that he went through throughout the years of not being accepted by other people, 
and just all the horrors of growing up alone and finally having this magical moment where everybody in unison comes together and just accepts him as a person, who he is, and just the change that he's already made in the world. This had to be one of those sweet moments that was full of both joy and sadness. Sadness for the fact of everything he's had to go through to get here, but just pure joy seeing him finally reach that point. I mean, them throwing him up in the air, them saying such kind words about him. We, we all felt that deep inside as well, having gone through that journey with him. Number three, as you would imagine, you know, probably one of the most emotional scenes ever in anime is going to be Jiraiya's death. <laughs> <laughs> Though Iruka in some ways was Naruto's you know, father growing up, as he got to be more of a teenager, you could tell he went under Jiraiya's wing so much, and that truly became what I would deem his father. Due to his strong connection with his father Minato and you know kind of the, the moment that they reflected back on of him writing that story and him saying he wants to name his child after the uh, individual that's in the stories that we see, uh, that just is such a special moment where he almost feels like his life is worthless and then he realizes that you know what he did really make an impact in the shinobi world and he was a very pivotal role in us you know going through this story and experiencing what we did with the world finding real peace. That will and forever be one of the greatest deaths in anime that I've ever experienced. And uh, I'll never forget that moment. Don't be extremely sad, you know. And then we had the wake of the moments afterwards where, you know, Naruto finally realizes it, Tsunade does. And just watching him go through that process of grieving through him and eventually overcoming it to having to go through the battle of pain like he did. Just an incredible storytelling by the series. Number two on my list, I'd say before I became a parent, uh, and had children, it might not be number two on my list, but as I've grown up, and this is what I was saying before, as you grow up and you change as a person and you experience different seasons of life, different things might have different meanings to you that it didn't have before. That being said, coming in at number two is gonna be Kushina's speech to Naruto as he's first born into the world. Naruto, as much as I'd love to watch that whole clip with everybody, obviously I could get copyright striked on the channel, so I don't want to do that sort of thing, but I hope you get to understand the gravity and you remember that moment when she was just pouring her heart out. Can you imagine being a mother, having your child just brought into the world, and then having to give him up and entrust a whole future to him in the way that they did? My heart just rips out feeling that as a parent, and I'm just a dad, right? I didn't give birth, carry a child, and have to go through that process, but I still feel that deep down, that speech she gave to him and in that very moment obviously she they were running out of time and Minato was like uh you know what your mom said right just backing her and supporting her just such a magical moment in the series that I'll never forget that being said coming in at number one for me because I am a father of two beautiful daughters and also I kind of grew up without a, a father as well is going to be when Naruto said goodbye to his father Minato and some of the words that he had to say to him なると。うまくいってねえけど、そこそこ頑張ってんだ。夢だってちゃんとある。俺ってば父ちゃんをこそ他げになる。絶対になるからな。あっちで母ちゃんにも伝えてくれ。俺のことは全然心配なんかそう
Oh, hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this different style of video. If you do enjoy these and you want to see something more, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know, you know, your personal ranking, maybe your top two, top three moments in the show that you most connected with and you hold dear to yourself. Again, everybody's going to have a different opinion. Let's respect that and just savor the fact that we all enjoy this beautiful series together as a community. And as I always say, I'll see you in the next video. Do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.